County is reworking a tax that's been giving sticker shock to property owners who built ADUs, sometimes called granny flats, on their land. And because of these new higher taxes, the state uh, told county officials to recalculate their property values. Our Tim Becker is digging deeper into what these new assessment really means. And what'd you find out, Tim? Well, you know, for people who did build those ADUs, those smaller buildings on their property behind their homes, the recalculation means they're going to have to pay a lot less in taxes than they were. But I also found out the initial increase this year was so drastic that even that lowered value, uh, the ADU owners are still going to be paying yeah. way more than they ever expected. And on holidays, we, this is our overflow. Walt Rainey recently converted his garage into a 700 square foot granny flat in North Portland, a decision that's now putting a pinch in his pocketbook. I mean, man, I've lived here all my life, you know, and um, so I'm, I'm being kind of financially pushed out. When his property tax bill showed up, it had jumped from just under $1,500 last year to almost $6,400, a jump that Multnomah County now attributes in part to an old zoning change made by Portland City Hall that they just recognized this year. We don't think a regulatory a design change equates to a change of use or a rezoning, which is what the law states. We think that's a faulty read of, of the rule. Last Friday, the State Department of Revenue sent this letter to the county asking it to recalculate only the value of the land and the new construction of the granny flat, but keep the value of the original home untouched. Walt just got his adjusted tax notice today, and it's $1,500 less, but still around $4,900 total. Yeah, I don't know. I, I got uh, This is a complete surprise to me. And I don't know if I'm going to have to adjust my life or what we're going to do here. For many people, it's, you know, they're, they're questioning whether they can stay in their homes. Until this year, Multnomah County increased taxes only based on the added value of the new detached units. I kept all my plumbing and my vents on that side. Units people like Brian Zoller and Walt Rainey built with encouragement and thousands of dollars in financial incentives from the city. It's just happened in the last 30 days, and I don't think the city knew. Here's the county wanting to raise everybody's property taxes forever because of this, it, uh, by, by large amounts. It sort of flies in the face of what the city's doing. Well, the speak, uh, people rather that I spoke with today say this isn't over. The situation may have to be settled in Oregon's tax courts or possibly even by lawmakers. Uh, homeowners do have until the end of the year to appeal their tax bills. To appeal, but still, yeah. I don't know a lot of people who can just shell out 4,900 bucks like that. No, and, and uh, Walter, who we were talking about, uh, talking with, says uh, he, he may have to move out of the area. Wow. That's, That's a problem he, all over that we're seeing He's now. been there for a long time, and he says, I couldn't afford to live here now if I didn't get in here 20, 25 right. years ago. Okay, Tim, yep. thank you for that.